Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project, School Management System. And I have developed this project in PHP and MySQL. The version for the PHP I'm using is the PHP version 7. And uh, for MySQL, I'm using the MySQL 5.6. Also, I'm using the SAM server for running this project. If you have the WAM server, then you can also configure this project on the WAM server. For Linux, you can use the LAMP server for Mac operating system, you can use the MAP server. Means this project is compatible with all of the major operating system which you have. So this is all about the operating systems, backend, and the uh, database technologies. For fronting, I am using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also I have used, like date, calendars, form validations, creating drop-down menus, and creating the sliders. I am using the jQuery plugin. Right. So this is all about the technologies which I have used for developing this project. So let's start with the functionality go through. So the project title is School Management System and uh, I have developed this project in PHP and MySQL. It's a mini project which contains only and only admin functionality. There is no student login or teacher login available inside this project because it's a mini project. Okay. So this is home page of the project. You can see this is a simple show home page. This is the about us, right? And if you want to change the content, then you can change the directly from the PHP page. This is a login page from where admin will be able to log in and he will be able to perform all of the internal operations. This is a contact us page from where admin will be able to, uh, means user will be able to send the contact information. But I'm not saving and sending any type of emails from this page. So you can treat it as a static page. So I'm logging with the admin. The user ID is admin and the password test. So once you log in, then you will be able to get all of the dashboards, admin dashboard and all of the functionalities which admin can perform, right? So the, the this menu is also available here. So I'm going through one by one. So this is a home page. I have already explained you. This is about us. This is a dashboard. This is admin dashboard. This is add students. So from this, he will be able to, admin will be able to add the any number of students here, right? These all informations. And it's to enter. This is the add course means admin will be able to add the course means nursery, pre nursery, one, two, three, like that, right? This is the add phase from where admin will be able to add the phase. This all this drop down will contain all of the students which is available into database. All of the drop downs is totally dynamic and the value is coming from the database. This is the add attendance, and admin will be able to add the attendance. Also, you can see this is a date plugin which I have added from the jQuery, right? This is add attendance. So the, there are four forms here, right? This is the report. So this is the report and admin can edit and delete the report from here also, right? This is a student listing. Okay, so all of the student which has been added into the database will be displayed here. Admin can see the view details here, right? Even view fees, all of the fees of the students paid by issue. By student, paid by students, this is a view attendance, right? Okay, this is a course report, and after that, uh, you will be able to see all of the courses, right? Which is available in the school. This is a fee report, all of the student fees which who have paid will be displayed here. Here, also, he will be able to admin will be able to search the record from here, so like that, right? This is a real time search. This is a face report and that this is attendance report from where admin will be able to see the attendance of the students, right? This is all students, the same I already explained you. This is a my account section from where admin will be able to update his account details and then change password from where admin will be able to change his account password and the logout functionality. Once admin logouts from the system, the above menu will not be displayed because it's totally session driven. And all the well uh, and all the menu will come after the login. Let me show you. This is logout, and you can see none of the administration menu is coming. Right? If you log inside the system, then you can see the above administration menu is coming. Right? So it's totally session driven. Right? So this is all about the project student management system, which I have developed in PHP and MySQL. It's a mini project, and uh, it contains only and only admin login. There is no student login or teacher login available in this project. Okay. So it's all about the project which I had developed. So if you need more functionality in this project, just put it into the comment. 
I will incorporate those changes and I will make this project more better and better according to our requirements. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest video updates on the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.